Hello everyone, welcome to Milkeet Singh Academy. This is your host Jaskira Singh. In today's video guys, uh, I'm going to show you that how to use two very important functions in Google Sheet mobile app. And these functions are filter function and is blank function. I'm going to show you that how you can use them in Google Sheet. And both these functions are very powerful functions as we can use the filter function to filter out our data and is blank function gives us whether the referred cell is empty or not. So I'm going to use both of these functions as a combination. And trust me guys, uh, usefulness of both these functions is more than what you think. So let's start with this video. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I regularly make these kind of videos on my channel. So make sure you subscribe. So let's start with this video, how to use filter function and is blank function in Google Sheet mobile app. Coming to our next function that is filter and is blank. So I'm going to use is blank function inside a filter function. So this function filter is very handy when you don't want to apply the filter to a whole column. So you want to only to apply a filter to a specific range or a specific data set. Then this function, this filter function is very useful in that case. So let me apply this filter function here. So for example, I want to search the numbers or the persons who have their table number less than two or maybe greater than two. So let me write the condition here. So how you can write a filter function. So click on the formula bar and type equal to and you have to write filter. So this is the function. So here you have to first provide the range. So my range is A2 to C6 this is my range so this function is very important and very useful whenever you don't want to apply the filter to a whole column so maybe you have 500 entries and you want only to apply it to a specific range then this function is very important guys so my first condition is i want to find out the people who have their table number like greater than two and less than four so let me write so I'm going to apply the condition in B2. So B2 to B6. So here I'm going to find the values which are greater than two. Okay, this is my first condition. And the, my second condition is, so let me write the first letter. So it is going to show up here. So my second condition is, so if the number is less than four, so no not is greater than four so that is only one value that is nancy i think so if i click ok it is going to give me nancy here so here in the nancy you can see the table number is greater than two and less than four that is why it is showing up here so you can apply this filter function to any data set here so let's apply a filter function so let me write filter so this is the function and I have to provide the range so this is my range so here the condition is is blank so you have to write is blank and here in whichever part of your this data set this range here where you want to apply so my range is this one so B2 to B6 if there is any entry that is black it is going to show up here so let me click on this OK button so here guys you can see this ADA has a blank table number so it is applied here so this is very handy when you don't want to apply the filter to the whole column so that is all guys from my side how to use filter function and is blank function as a combination and if you really want to learn more about google sheet how to use them in mobile you should definitely check out my video here in the description box so you will learn more about Google Sheet because I have covered every topic in that video. So thanks for watching and see you soon guys with more exciting videos. Bye bye. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.